MPs are expected to approve the introduction of plain standardised packaging for cigarettes in England later. The new packets will have health warnings with the brand name in small type. If passed, they're likely to be in shops from next year. The tobacco industry has called it a flawed policy and threatened legal action. With me now is Simon Clark from Forest, the Smokers Me Group, too. and Deborah Arnott from Action on Smoking and Health. Good morning to both of you. Uh, I'd just like to mention that Forest is funded by the tobacco industry. It's important that's always referenced. We've done it. Uh, and Simon, do you think you've lost this now because MPs look likely to go with this? Yes, it looks that way. Uh, Labour are whipping their MPs to vote for plain packaging. I think uh, hopefully there will be a substantial number of Tories who rebel because I think they realise it is a ludicrous policy. It's not going to have any impact on uh, smoking rates at all. We've seen that in Australia and of course there's very serious concerns about the impact it might have on illicit trade. It's not aimed though at existing smokers as much as it is on future smokers, on youngsters who might be influenced by the packaging. That's the argument. Sure, but there's no evidence that children start smoking because of packaging. Uh, the reality is that children start smoking because of peer pressure or maybe the influence of family members who smoke. It's never ever been about packaging. As I, if I was in the food and drink industries, I'd be very concerned that plain packaging may be introduced in this country because clearly alcohol and sugar will be next. Deborah, I can hear you sighing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is just the same old tired tobacco industry arguments that always get rolled out. And the issue around children smoking, well, he quotes Australian data to say that um, it's had no impact. That's not what the Australian Bureau of Statistics say. That information has been misquoted by the tobacco industry. Actually, smoking rates in Australia have gone down. The issue of the illicit, I've got here a counterfeit pack. They're cheap as chips to produce and really easy with modern technology. It's not going to make any difference. This is what the Australian pack looks like. It's no easier to produce, no more difficult, and it will make no difference to the amount of counterfeit, which is the conclusion of our revenue and customs, the Irish revenue and customs, and the Australian rev revenue and customs where it's already been implemented. The, the difficulty, Simon, is tobacco companies, well, they would argue this, wouldn't they? Because without the advertising on the packets, frankly, they, they've got nowhere to go. Well, you know, I'm not arguing for the tobacco industry. I'm arguing on behalf of consumers. And what we're against is this further... Well, can, uh, well, hang on, well let's pick up on that. Because if, if they're already consumers, this isn't going to change their minds. Well, it's not going to affect whether they can buy cigarettes, but it's part of the further denormalisation of smoking, and that clearly affects smokers. And the fact that you can denormalise a perfectly legal product, which contributes £10 billion a year to the Treasury, far outweighs the alleged cost of treating But you know the argument season. about the cost of the NHS, the fact that it is harmful, it's, there's no question about that. I mean, you're arguing arguments that we had in the 60s when there was questions about the health merits of smoking. Yeah, but let's consider the fact that the display ban and still hasn't been fully implemented. Next year, the European Union is introducing its uh, Tobacco Products Directive, which will see larger health warnings on cigarette packs. Why on earth do we need plain packaging? And how are we going to assess the impact of plain packaging when these other uh, issues are still being run, run out? Deborah, what about this point that if it's smoking today, what about alcohol, what about other products that can be harmful in the wrong hands? I think that's irrelevant. Smoking, you know, tobacco is the only legal product which kills when used as intended. Half all long-term smokers die from smoking and many, many more, um, something like 20 times as many who die every year, are suffering from death and disease. It's not just that you die early, it's that you suffer many, many years of impaired quality of life as a result of smoking. But Deborah, you're treating people as this. We're complete idiots. The fact is, every adult in this country knows full well the health impact of smoking. And I would say, as a father of two teenage children, teenagers know all about the health risks of smoking as well. They don't don't have to have it all over the pack. We already have can health I, can warnings. Can I say something? You say we, but you're not even a smoker. You don't speak for smokers. And actually what smokers tell us is that two-thirds of them um, take up smoking before they reach the age of 18. And um, most of them would like to quit, and many more wish they'd never taken it I'm, up. So I you're not speaking on behalf on, of most Hang on, I smokers. represent millions of people in this country who've seen tobacco packets all through, through my life. When I grew up, there was even tobacco advertising. It's never encouraged me to take up smoking. It's totally patronising of you to suggest that a child takes up smoking because he sees a packet or sees a, 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 a tobacco behind the counter in a shop. It's complete nonsense. Stop patronising British people. Well, what about your children, Simon? Would you want them to take up smoking? 
Once they're 18, it's up to them. No, as children, I don't think they're ready to make an informed choice. Once they're 18, it's up to them. My son smokes. He's the first person in my family to smoke for probably two generations. That's his choice. We live in a supposedly a immature democracy where people are allowed to make their own decisions. Packaging has nothing to do with whether people take up smoking. Can I pick up on that? Because actually, as Anna Subria, the health minister at the time, said, she was encouraged to take up smoking by the packaging. It's and not you believe the that? No, you? it's you not believe the, that? Well, why, 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 not why do reason, they put adverts on packaging? Why do they put brands on packaging if it doesn't work? Well, you'd have to ask the tobacco industry. But the point is, it's all about getting people to change, existing smokers, to change from one brand to another. That's where branding is important. And if you take away branding, we live in a capitalist society. I personally celebrate that and I think it's quite wrong for the state to come along and take away this is theft of intellectual property that's quite wrong that's Deborah, just not true Deborah, and also the vast majority what, what of, the, of the public support this and what I would say is that what you're saying is just so ludicrous because if it was so unimportant why is the industry so against it um, the industry says you know the brand is the pack and as, as one of um, uh, the government ministers who I spoke to about this said to me, the industry said to him, you know, this is terrible. It will actually lead to more children taking up smoking. So he said to them, well, if that's the case, why aren't you putting your cigarettes in plain packs already? Because they have to encourage children to take up smoking. Two-thirds of smokers start this before one the last age thing, of 18. I just I said, this nonsense about the public supporting plain packaging. There have been two consultations on plain packaging. In 2012, two-thirds of responses were opposed to plain packaging. Another consultation last year, 99% of responses were against the policy. You cannot say that the public is in favour. Yes, because people are bothered to actually take of, part. Of, of I'm, I'm going to stop this. because Do think... not support that. Deborah, Simon. You know, and, Deborah. And in fact, Deborah well, Simon. From right across. Simon Republic, Deborah. <laughs> Deborah <laughs> Simon. Um, if you want to take this outside, that's fine. But we're out of time in here. <laughs> Deborah Simon, thank you both very much. Thank, thank you. you.